Hey guys, Zach here from Unit Solutions. Today we're gonna cover what you should do if you have a T-Pack that is stuck inside your magazine. So under normal conditions, as soon as you open the straw latch here on the side, the T-Pack will disengage from the piercer cavity and it'll shoot to the bottom door where it'll be retained and you can safely remove it. On occasion, you might have a condition where you open the side latch and the T-Pack remains engaged with the piercer. It does not expel the gas. You don't see it or hear it. And under that condition, we're gonna walk through a step-by-step -step on what to do. So the number one thing is if you open this latch and you do not hear the gas depressurize, remember, always keep the bottom door of the magazine closed until you see the T-Pack visibly move downward toward the bottom of the magazine. So if you're in this condition, the number one thing that I do first is I'll just use my hand and I will try to use my palm and put pressure on the top of the T-Pack to get it to disengage with the piercer. So I'll do that first. And so in this instance, I was able to use my palm. It did require a little bit of force there to get it to disengage from the piercer. And so at this point, you could safely remove the T-pack, load up another one, and then keep on training. In this case, it's got a really good seal in there. It's pretty stuck. And so if you get a condition like this, where even a little bit of manual manipulation of the T-pack at the top isn't working, you can use a tool like a small rubber mallet and if you're going to use something like this, we recommend that you keep the magazine pointed in a safe direction. So you don't want to point it at anybody or anything that is valuable. Um, so in this, uh, in this case, I'm just going to rest it here on the table as I tap the top of it. So there you see it degassed. <laughs> kind of caught me by surprise as it always does. And so at this point, you would remove the T-Pack from the magazine. You can load the next one and then you can keep on training. Okay guys, just one more tip uh, on the magazine. So if you don't have access to a rubber mallet because you're at a training event, you're in a shoot house, you're outside somewhere, um, you can still remove the T-Pack. You gotta get a little bit creative. So if you're outside, you might find like a tree in a shoot house, maybe a shoot house wall. We've even seen customers that have used the flat surface of a magazine to bump off the uh, T-Pack from the piercer. And so that's an option too. What's really important is just that the bottom door remains closed and you're pointing it in a direction that is safe and not towards any person or anything that's valuable. Um, one last comment. Uh, in the process of removing the T-Pack, there is the potential that you may damage the fingers here on the T-Pack the at the top, which present the round. If you witness or observe damage here, uh, please send us an email at customerservice at unitsolutions.com and we will replace your T-Pack at our expense. Guys, for more content like this on maintenance and cleaning, please follow our YouTube channel. We've also got uh, videos posted about how to set up a home range and then training videos from Kyle Morgan and, and Blake Cook from Blue Bearing. A lot of good content there and we'll be adding to it. This is the first in a series of new maintenance and cleaning videos that we'll be introducing. So please give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and uh, we look forward to continuing this kind of content for you.